Hey guys, Omni here. We are back for a trailer, a teaser trailer for Disney's new animated film, Encanto. I have not heard of this at all, so I don't know what this is. I had some people link it to me um, earlier today when the teaser trailer dropped. Um, taking a little bit of a break here from work to uh, dive into this a little bit. I don't have any expectations for it. No idea what it's even about, so let's uh, check out the trailer. Here we go. That's a magical. Holy shit. <laughs> Do they live in a haunted house? Magical. What the fuck? Except Mirabelle. She not magical? I gave you the special since you're the only Madrigal kid with no gift. I oh, yeah. The not special, special since uh, you have no gift. Uh, <laughs> thanks. Oh, uh, okay. Lin Manuel, man, he's just getting around. <laughs> fall 2021 uh, i gotta say i think that was that was kind of cute uh, it doesn't really tell me what the story of it is but it sets the groundwork for at least like the dynamic or what i feel like the struggle of it's going to be you know being surrounded by people with amazing gifts um and then trying to also figure out what you bring to the table is kind of interesting it kind of reminds me of uh Sokka's master, if we're talking about Avatar, you know, he's surrounded by people who can literally bend and manipulate the elements, but he's the only normal guy in the group. So he's got to find his thing. And it's strategy, humor, and swordsmanship. So with this, like, I'm wondering what they're going to take with that. Because, like, obviously, not not even just her. It just seemed like the house itself was also uh, magical. Like, shifting. Unless somebody was actively doing that to the house, it seemed like the house itself was alive. And this whole community has these types of gifts and powers, and I guess they're kind of all different. So I, I don't know. I don't know if this is like rooted in any sort of like mythology or lore or um, what have you. Let's just read the description here and see what it says. Walt Disney Animation Studios in Canto is a tale of an extraordinary family, the Madrigals, who live in hidden in the mountains of Columbia in a magical house. Okay, so the mouse house is magical in a vibrant town in a wondrous, charmed place called in An Encanto. An all-new original film featured the voice of Stephanie Beatrice as Mirabelle, an ordinary 15-year-old who's struggling to find her place in her family. Mirabelle is a really funny, lovable, or loving character who is deeply yearns to... who also deeply <laughs> yearns to... <laughs> God damn it! My dyslexia, man, it's rough sometimes when I'm trying to read and speak these things. For something more. Uh, she's also not afraid to stand up for what she knows is right. Something I love and relate to, says Beatrice. That didn't really help. Uh, pretty much the only confirmation we got is where it's located. That the house, in fact, is magical. And just, uh, yeah. I don't know. It's kind of cute. It looks uh, interesting. So I'm curious to see what, what more. Like, once we get an actual full trailer and see what the stakes are, what the what the drive of the movie is going to be. Of course, the animation looks gorgeous. It looks awesome. It's nice, bright, and beautiful, just like how I like it. So who knows? We'll see. Check it out when it drops. Uh, we'll see how everything falls with the trailer whenever we get that. But guys, what did you think of this short little glimpse of this trailer? Um, there's not a whole lot to go off of, short of the animation, the, just the general concept going on so far, but I'd love to hear your opinion. So sound off in the comments, let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry on the conversation after the video. Guys, thank you all for tuning in. If you enjoyed this, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you want to, uh, and uh, yeah.
join the Discord. We got a link to that and all my socials in the description of this video. Before we go, huge shout out to our channel legends, Mandy Share, Ryan Karen, and Jason Coleman. As always, guys, it's been great. Uh, but yeah, thank you all so much, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody.